Getting afraid of the future, that's what future anxiety is. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? I know, it's another, you know, mental health problem video again. Might as well just be a psychiatrist. Well, mental health has been a big problem for me, so uh, it's pretty heavy topic for me. Now, before I start, I want to give you a context. This video is supposed to be me talking about another AI art problem, but I've changed the script because of what happens to me. And I think this one is a lot more, you know, valuable to talk about, so that's why I make this video instead of making another AI arts video. I'm currently facing with feature anxiety. And this one is no fucking jokes. The cause of this you know, feature anxiety is because I've been reading so much news about artificial intelligence. Because I want to make a script for my YouTube video, what else? I went so deep into AI, maybe too deep to the point where, you know, I'm saying stuff like, Oh my god, I have to stop this. I have to stop reading this bullcrap. And I think I'm only seeing the tip of the iceberg. Now I understand why some artists or people in general really freaked out with the existence of AI. I underestimate how you know, scary and powerful artificial intelligence is. Now I'm really sorry that my voice is a little bit messed up today, I don't know what the bloody hell happened to my voice. And also, I'm sorry if I don't reply to your comments or in discord chats. I've never been so busy in my entire life until now. My job, YouTube, painting, researching, studying, making strip, editing and uh, oh my goodness. And the most bothersome part is dealing with mental health issues. Right now, I've been struck with this, you know, feature anxiety. It is not fun at all, to be honest. It's fucking brutal. So that's the reason why I've been, you know, silent for a few days. I'm trying to get my shit together. It starts with fear, then comes terror, then comes stress, then comes depression, then comes anxiety. What's gonna happen in the future? Nobody fucking knows. That fear of the unknown, you know? I've seen Deviant Arts and a stock photo company partnering with an AI company and there's gonna be more companies working with AI. Is this it? Is it the end for us artists? The end of creative jobs? I've seen people using AI arts and sell them, making hundreds of dollars and they get all the views and followers on social media. We've spent thousands of hours practicing and there's a random motherfucker, not even an artist, who gets all the things that you know, we all deserve. We get it. Our drawings or paintings are not as good as AI. Now I'm really sorry, I don't know why the bloody hell my voice is so fucking fucked up right now. And also my content is so random, like I'm making a sad video and then a happy video and then a depressed video and then a happy video and then and then, and then. you know what I mean. And uh, you see how messed up my mental health is, right? Afraid of what's gonna happen in the future. It sounds silly, I know, but it's fucking real. I've been saying something like, they're gonna regulate AI in some way or another to make a work balance. So don't be afraid of AI, but I'm still a bit worried, you know. It's almost like a fear of ghosts. Now, I don't believe in the existence of ghosts, but if I were to be left alone in an abandoned building at night, shit, even though I don't believe in ghosts, but it's still fucking scary, you know? And it was completely different with AI. The threat is real, it's right there in front of us. It might be not that bad for you, but it was a fucking nightmare for me. I have to read all of those fucking you know, AI news articles and watching AI news videos. And that's what triggers you know, all of this. Once it triggers, it lasts for days. It makes me so uncomfortable you know, to do anything because I can't stop thinking about it, even when I'm writing this script and editing this video, and even reading this goddamn script. It completely messed up my brain because of how fucking good AI can be, right? It can make a script, it can make a very realistic picture within a matter of a minute, and it can make a fucking video game without you having to learn to do coding, video game developers, photographers, animators, or artists in general are threatened by AI because of how good they are. In the future, people can make a fucking movie by you know only using AI. It's fucking nuts. Now here's the thing, because AI is so good, right? Then comes the jealousy. Now that we are dealing with this fucking you know, mixed emotions, we have fear, depression, excitement, and jealousy, so we cannot decide what to do. I mean, what the fuck can we do? You might be thinking, someone's gotta do something about this, right? I mean, come on. There are so many creative jobs that are you know, being threatened by AI, so we have to become one and fight for this shit, right? And then comes another feeling, the feeling of powerlessness to change anything. Look how many emotions that we are dealing with at the same time. So how can we deal with this? 
Well, if you guys have a, you know, a good idea what to do in this you know, current situation, why not share it with us in the comment section? Okay, so let's talk about something else. I'm gonna go outside of the topic a little bit, and this is something that can be you know, related to how you feel maybe. It is similar to an art block. What is an art block, you might ask? It's similar to a burnout. Look man, I'm not the best explainer in the world, so I cannot you know, put it in a better words, so I'm gonna explain it to you. It's the feeling of what's the point, thinking that you're a loser or something. Now I'm gonna try my best to explain it to you, so bear with me here. Reacting or overreacting to literally everything. In this case, I'm dealing with uh, art improvement. Every time I see someone's paintings or drawings, I have this feeling like, Oh wow, look at this guy, he's so good at this. And it gets worse when I find out that you know they've been doing it for a couple of months or so. It got me thinking, look at me, I'm a loser for not getting as good as them. We started at the same time, we're the same age, but they are getting much better results than me, and they are smarter than me. So I accepted that I'm a loser and an idiot. Wow, that was such a great explanation, I deserve a medal for that. Maybe I can put it into a much better wording, something like, you know, afraid of height, for example. I'm gonna be honest, I'm afraid of height. Because I'm afraid of height, I'm gonna avoid getting into a higher place. Makes sense, right? So, I'm not gonna do anything crazy like riding one of those uh, things at the theme park. Or standing at the edge of a building. That's fucking crazy, by the way. When I see people do that, you know, it drives me nuts when I see people riding one of those, you know, theme parks thingy, hearing them screaming and being thrown away like crazy. So that's why I avoid them, because I'm scared as fuck. And that's the problem, because I'm scared of height, I'm not even bothered, you know, trying to overcome that fear of height. It translated to what I'm learning as well. I'm seeing someone getting much better results than me in terms of art progress. I'm not even bothered, you know, to try to get good at it. Instead, I accept that I'm an idiot and they're smart. I'm aware that being a student, you're supposed to make as many mistakes as possible so that you can fix it. You're a student, not a professional. You're not expecting that your paintings or drawings will be, you know, perfect with no mistakes. Also, sometimes I have to make mistakes on purpose so that people can point out that I make a mistake and reply to them just to see, you know, their point of view so that I can, you know, learn more things. But it can completely rot my brain sometimes when it when that happens. It makes me look like a dum-dum. I gotta do something about that, holy shit. I acknowledge the problem but I don't know how to deal with those problems. How do you guys overcome that feeling of, you know, thinking that you're a loser or something, why not share it with us in the comments? Maybe other people can learn a thing or two. Right now, the way I deal with these problems is to take a break from the internet. I spend most of my time looking for references to draw and you know, just download all of them so that I can draw without using the internet. I also turn off my notifications, so I'm really sorry if I'm not responding to any of your comments or chats on YouTube and Discord. Because enough internet for today. Getting afraid of the future is something that really bothers me. It, it's not new, I've had this feeling before. It sounds the same feeling like when you take a shit and you know all of a sudden you have that thought. Something gonna come out like a snake or something and lick your butt. Have you ever had that feeling before? It's freaking scary, you know? Now, I am really sick and tired of AI news and videos on YouTube because most of them are, you know, just the same shits over and over again. There's nothing really new. The majority of them are, you know, predictable about what the content's about. So that's why I changed the script and talk about this instead. I might have to take my time and really think about what video I want to make next so that I can give a greater value to my audience instead of aiming for, you know, what everybody's aiming for. Views, baby, money. I haven't monetized my channel yet, shit. Even if I'm monetized, I haven't made a credit card yet, oh my god. There's so many things on my mind. So yeah, see you guys later. Goodbye.